We need you to grade every single NBA team's season. Starting out out east, we're going to go 15 to 1 in the standings. How are you grading the Detroit Pistons season? F. <laughs> F. <laughs> like, you, did they break the, the streak or did they – are the record for They tied it. I don't think they, they – they they set I think the single season one, but they didn't break the longest of all time one because that spanned different seasons. Y'all being that close is an F in itself. Absolutely <laughs> F. Yeah, I didn't want to give them an F. Uh, I'm going to give them an F too, though. Unfortunately, <laughs> you can't. You can't. Fourteen and sixty eight F. It's just F. that's F, bro. F. It's not like you were like tanking, like bro. Y'all have like your core, like no, right. F. F. Next team is the Washington Wizards. What are you grading the Washington Wizards season? A D. I'll give them a D just because bad, of course. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it, it wasn't how I thought it was going to be. I thought they were going to be bad but fun. They weren't even bad but fun. It was just bad. Like, <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> awful. It, it was just bad. It wasn't no, like Jordan Poole pool parties. Like, nah, like, everything. Pool dried bad. up. <laughs> <laughs> the pool's closed for the it, summer, bro. It, it is, bro. It, it was just bad. So I give him a D. I, I give him a D minus because, like, just like you said, I had low expectations for the team's performance but they were somehow worse than expected and not even fun to watch. <laughs> not only, at all. Only thing saving them from the F, Bilal looked great. There's a lot of promise there. And uh, Denny Avedia is a guy, let y'all know now, let him mess around and get up out of Washington and get on to a contender. He's going to show a lot of y'all why he's a he's somebody that can really contribute. And y'all helped him out this season <laughs> as well. Oh, as yeah. Well. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> that might bump you up to a D plus, actually, because y'all helped him out. <laughs> That's because y'all traded away Gafford. <laughs> y'all helped him out. It's so funny because we haven't talked about these bad teams in so long. I'm just, I got to remember the season again. It's, it's so weird. Right. Uh, yeah. Speaking of another bad team that, uh, that helped out the Mavericks, the Charlotte Hornets. Uh, <laughs> what are you grading the Charlotte Hornets season this past year? Honestly, theirs was like a, this is like a C minus kind of thing because they was bad, but they bad obviously because Lamelo was hurt as well. Right. Um, I liked, I loved actually what I seen from Brandon Miller. Mm -hmm. They helped the Mavs again, so I give, I give them a C minus. I give them a C minus. I can't go that far. I still give them a D plus. Obviously, the Melo injury is the biggest thing, but it's starting to become a bit of a scary trend for him. Mm -hmm. Um, some of these injuries, but. Obviously, they trade away P.J. Washington, and now he's turned into what he's turned into on the Dallas Mavericks. It was like, wish you could have seen that on Charlotte, but tough to see, obviously, any type of great performance from role players on bad teams. Um, but just uh, underwhelming, and, and this LaMelo injury is super tough. So obviously not going to give them a crazy, they are not F-worthy, but a D-plus just because, man, lamelo has got to be able to, to, to stay healthy in these instances because – they got something there. And like you said, Brandon Miller was definitely a bright spot uh, because, you know, finishing up the season, you know, averaging over 17 points, he, he shut up a lot of the hate that he might not have been the pick there um, for Charlotte. So got to definitely give credit to him. You know, what? actually, I, I'll go C minus then just just off of that. It feels wrong. That's, the, the plus. that's what that literally is like because they're young. And they weren't supposed to win anyway. And they have an excuse because LaMelo was hurt for the majority of the year. Right. And Brandon Miller was bigger, better than expected. That's why I bumped them up to the C. So I feel like if I'm giving them the same grades like the Wizards, it's like, damn. Like, that's they got, fair. They have more promise than that. Yeah, I, I, I do the C minus just, just because of that. Because that is Brandon Miller did have a hell of a rookie year. Uh, next team out east is going to be the Toronto Raptors. How are you grading the Raptors past season? I'm going to give them mm, – that's actually a really hard one. I think I'm going to give them a C- minus as well for different reasons, though. Mm -hmm. I feel like the C- minus for the Hornets is because they had an excuse to be so bad and they showed promise. I'm giving them a C- minus for the Raptors because they finally – made the decision to actually like reset a little bit right that's why but they obviously it wasn't a good season so i can't get them higher than that so it's a c minus but it's for a different reason than i gave the hornets i'm gonna give them a i'll say c plus but for the same reason like 
They got off of Pascal. They bring in RJ. They bring in Emmanuel quickly. It feels like they are really committed to building around Scotty's timeline. They brought in some younger complimentary guys to pair with him. I just think that's fair that they've made a choice, a decision. You don't want to be in that, you know, no man's land. So I'll, I'll give them a C plus for that. Um, you know, Scotty had a good year, was an all star. RJ didn't look too bad when he was there. IQ, they got mm. off of, you know, OG. Scotty know, was an all star, yeah. I um, that. so I, I think that there's, you know, opportunity there for them, you know, moving into the future with Scotty. I think they just have some semblance of a direction. Um, so I'll give them a C plus, but again, obviously their expectations shift midseason when you were a team with Scotty, Pascal, OG, and then you get rid of Pascal and OG. Right. <clears throat> the next team that we have here, um, which is the last team that wasn't in the plan tournament at all out east is the Brooklyn Nets. What are you grading the Brooklyn Nets season? They were like a Ah, uh, you're like a D. I'm not gonna lie. They haven't got no direction. Like it's not an F because you weren't like abysmal, but you don't have no direction. You're kind of in no man's land. Like yeah, you're like a. It's like a D. You better than me. The Nets are getting an F minus. Just the worst. <laughs> worst out. I don't care what the Pistons did. This is the worst because, like you said, there's no direction at all with this team. That's true. You brought in Mikel to be the guy. Is he the guy? No. I don't I don't think so. No. But then you're not going to trade him for any of the assets that you could potentially go out to get a guy. You're not going to trade true. any other assets to try to get a guy. You got Ben Simmons on the roster. Cam Thomas is on the roster. I it this roster is just a mosh posh of mid and directionless going nowhere. So for them to have been in a position just a few years ago where they had KD and Kyrie and were one game away, literally a couple of a toenail away from, from advancing, uh, was that going to the Eastern Conference Finals? Right. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And now to be in this position now where they have, there's nothing even to look forward to. If you're the Pistons, at least you're like, man, we got K. Like we suck. We got K. We got, you know, we got SAR. If I'm a Nets fan, I'm like, I don't, bro, we need to do something, anything, F minus. That's just true. Just being in the middle of nowhere. And they also constructed the two teams in the finals, basically. 100%. <laughs> Next team is the Atlanta Hawks. What are you grading the Atlanta Hawks season? Uh, they're like a D minus because their expectations was a little – they because it was supposed to be a little bit higher. They were supposed to be a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Um, they didn't figure out the Trey Young and Dejounte thing. One of them is probably one of them, if not both, is getting traded. I mean, do we are we counting the fact that they got the number one overall pick in there? Because then it goes up for that. <laughs> you could, <laughs> you could. Nah, D. I, I give him a D from a D minus because I, I it's not directionless because they have assets to move off of. They got decisions mm -hmm. to be made, so it's not like directionless and nothing to look forward to. But still, kind of disappointing. So I'd say like a D. I'll get them a C minus with an asterisk solely because really what they do this off season depends on how they're capitalizing off of this season and getting the number one overall pick. That's because very true. I think it's clear we've reached the point where we can collectively as fans say this Trey on DeJounte Murray thing is not working. It's not working. Mm -hmm. So y'all need to make some shake. So when we get past next year's trade deadline is when we'll really be able to be like, okay, how was this season really going to be remembered? So I'll give it a C minus for now because at the end of the day, they definitely were underwhelming, should have been better uh, than they were. I was a guy that thought that the two of them could potentially work it out, but it just – it ain't it ain't gone. It ain't gone. I, I bought them as a D plus. I give them a plus. Okay. Next one is the Chicago Bulls. How are you grading the Bulls season this past year? F plus, and the plus is Kobe White. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what the plus is. Other than yeah. that, directionless, no man's land, no. F plus because the plus is Kobe White. That's it. Uh, yeah, same it. reason. I give him a D minus. I don't even got to say anything more. The, the only reason it ain't in the F is because, man, Kobe White could have been the MIP, man. Mm. That's about it. Break fact, this core I'll give up. him a D minus because Kobe White is worth more than a plus. Give him that. I'll give him that. So I'm with you on that one. I'll give him a D right. minus. Uh, yeah. You saw Alonzo Ball got a meniscus transplant? Bro, he has a, a whole – somebody else's meniscus. That's How does that work? crazy. I didn't know that was a thing. Was it like – did the person die? 
What if they weren't the same size as long? I got so many questions, bro. bro. I don't know, and I how I don't know how you're doing, and then it's about to go play professional basketball on that. Someone else is this. Nah, right, about that it. wasn't an athlete. How is this <laughs> yeah, right? Here, that jig is not strong enough. That jump about to nah. I don't even want to speak yeah. it into existence, but I'm good on right. that. Uh, next team is the Miami Heat. What are you grading the Heat season this past year? It's not. It can't be lower like those. Yeah, that's like a. Their season is like a C minus kind of season. That's what I would give it to. Because it's not like a D or an F, but it's definitely not where it was supposed to be. Definitely didn't have a good regular season. Y'all are living in directionless land just quietly. It's creeping in directionless land. Let's just put it that way. I still have pieces. I still have options. Obviously, Bam, Tyler Hero, Jimmy Butler still, Jaime Hawkins. So, like, y'all like a C minus. I agree. I agree. C minus for the Miami Heat. Next team is the Philadelphia 76ers. What are you grading the 76ers season this past year? This season got an asterisk because, like, that's tough, man. I'll give them just a flat out B because they were supposed to be better, but it only was because of the Joel energy. Joel was supposed to win MVP. Like, I'll give him a B just because it's like either it's just it's a tough one to grade, you know what I mean? Because I don't give right. them slack for losing in the playoffs at all with a hurt and bead. Um I give him a B plus because Maxi actually had a little bird breakout. So I give him a B plus actually. I, I was gonna give them a B plus as well. Um obviously it hurt with the injury, but he came back and they played the Knicks as close as you could play a six game series. Tyrese Maxi was phenomenal, and I just love the decision to get off of Harden to have mm-hmm. Maxi be the number two option there. And I think he flourished in that role. Um, and I'm excited to see him continue to grow as a young guard in this league. So I, I give them a B plus solely for that. Tough, like you said, with the the injuries to to grade it any differently. Now it kind of has to be an, an asterisk on their full performance because of that. Um, the next team I have is the Indiana Pacers. How would you grade the Pacers last season? Hey. If for, for as far as expectation, oh, completely overachieved, was not supposed to be in the Eastern Conference Finals, well above where they're supposed to be. Um, as far as like where they're at roster roster wise, uh, made the pass on Siakam trade. Um, that's been going pretty well. Um, Hattari Halliburton made all NBA. Like, yeah, I, I give him right. a. I, it was a good season for him. Great season for him, actually. Sam great for me for the same reasons. You got an All NBA player. You made it to the Eastern Conference Finals, and we're competitive in the Eastern Conference Finals. Um, despite getting swept, but we're in a lot of those games. I would have to say that that is definitely a success for a team that had nobody predicting them to have gotten that far. Definitely an A mm-hmm. for the Pacers. Uh, the next team I have is the Orlando Magic. How are you grading the Orlando Magic's season? Honestly, if we're just basing off, that's like it. I feel like A-plus is crazy. I'm not going to lie. I think I, I can. I wouldn't go that far. That's what I said. I think that's. I think that's crazy because A plus is like you're like top of the top. I right. give. I give them an A because of where they're at right now. Obviously had um at least like what well, was the top three defense in the league this whole year. Obviously had huge strides from Paolo. Franz was playing very well as well. Um, I give them an A just because had a great regular season and played a tough seven-game series for such a young team and showed strides in the playoffs. Like, Paolo had moments. Like, your guys had moments in the playoffs. When in reality, you could have been a team that was playing, like, you know, taking those that step forward, and then you jumped all that a little bit. So I, I give them an A because I think that they took a they took a further leap than what I thought they was going to do. Yeah, I'll, I'll give them a an A- minus because – the defense was fantastic all year. Paolo was great all year. Uh, and they pushed the Cavs 2-7, and I think still were good enough to be further. Obviously, they, they didn't perform, especially Franz, in the playoffs to the level that they want to. But the young team, I'm giving them a little bit of grace. But for them to be this far along in their rebuild already, definitely B plus A minus worthy. Um, the next team I have is... The Cleveland Cavaliers, how would you grade the Cavs this season? Mm, they had injuries. Donovan Mitchell kind of kept them afloat. Even when though they was a ravish with injuries. Mm-hmm. I'll give them a B plus. 
That's uh, Darren Garland's kind of struggled this year. It's a tough one. Um, like a B to a B plus is the range for me. Um, because like I said, they Donovan Mitchell kept them afloat. Then we talked about it when they were like had all them injuries that like they could have they could have been bad. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, they could have been really, really bad. And it was able to stay afloat. And then I win a playoff series one. And then they got a game off Boston, and then Donovan Mitchell got hurt. So we not we really don't know how that series really could have right. been for them. Who knows what would have happened? Um, so it's kind of like a, a kind of like an incomplete, really. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> but I, I would say for what could have happened, how bad it could have been with all the injuries, it's like a BB plus kind of thing. Yeah, same thing. I give it a B because it's hard to it's hard to knock them for the bad playoffs and some of the bad stretches because at the same time, Donovan Mitchell did carry them through those tough times when Darius Garland and Evan Mobley were hurt. And Darius Garland obviously never really returned to form because of his injury. And then Donovan Mitchell got hurt and then he got hurt again in the playoffs. So it's like it's hard to really try to ding them for any of that. When that's all out of their control. So B feels like a fair, safe bet. But it could be lower. It definitely could be a little bit lower because, again, tough. To and the rumors are kicking up again that they might have to break this core up because it feels like it may be plateauing a little bit out there in mm -hmm. Cleveland. The next team I have is the Milwaukee Bucks. What would you grade the Bucks this season? This is a hard grade because if mm -hmm. we're talking about expectations and what they were supposed to be, hmm. Man, they're no higher than a B for me. That's no, what I would give them to. No higher. I want to say they're lucky. They're so lucky Giannis got hurt. I swear to God. They're so lucky because I can't fully give them. I can't fully judge it because you don't really know. I'd say a B minus right now because mm -hmm. regular season was shaky. Fired your coach midseason. After that, didn't even really play great. Um, then they, they slipped a little bit in the same. What, that was a fourth C, what was it? Fourth seed, they, they ended up being the three seed. They got three jumped seed. by the the Knicks at the last time, uh, last hour. Got right? you. Had like a couple bad losses at the end of the season. Yep. Giannis got hurt, so the, like I said, Giannis getting hurt kind of saves him a little bit because it's more so of an incomplete kind of thing. But I'd say uh, like a B minus, definitely no higher than a B for me. Yeah, I, I would give them a B because it's tough to give a team that won forty nine games less than that. But expectation wise, like you said, the injuries hurt. But I think there was a world where. You, like they were underperforming for most of the season. So I could definitely be fair with seeing a lower grade for this team because even when they were fully healthy, they were not performing up to the standard. If you did this at the halfway point in the season, I don't care if they had one, were they like 31 and 13? This would have been like a C minus D plus. That Facts. defense was sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, the next team we have is the New York Knicks. How would you grade the Knicks this season? This is an A. This is an A season for this me. This is an A plus. I thought about the plus. I thought about the plus. I thought about the plus. I really thought about the plus. I thought I didn't know if I was bugging or not. I'm with you now. I'm getting the A. I just needed yeah. your back. I needed you to back me a little bit. <laughs> I'm got the A plus. Brunson, all NBA, MVP yes. conversation yes. with the Randall injury. You bring in Bogdanovich. You bring in OG. Um, OG. You have this Josh Hart emergence. DiVincenzo playing out of his Deuce mind. Right. This crazy playoff run. Just it, it, the vibes were so high. MSG the vibes all was, year. Uh, I was a Nick fan, bro. In the playoffs, I'm not gonna lie. I Nick wanted them to win every. I wanted them to win every single game they played, bro. I was so hyped for the Knicks. Like I said, Hartenstein stepped up through all the injuries. Every single injury, obviously, it caught up to him at the end. But in reality, we know if they was healthy, probably would have went to the Eastern Conference Finals. I, yeah, a, it was a fantastic season for the Knicks. A plus yeah. for sure. And the last one, can't even really put a grade on it yet. Celtics are a TBD. Cause nah, because if they lose, because if they lose, it ain't no A, A-plus season. Not at all. I don't care. Bro, Celtics are a team you don't get judged by anything you do in the regular season. If we talk about straight regular season up to now, A-plus. Right. Of course, nothing lower. But if you lose, that grade drops. Obviously, it's mm. not even no F or no D or right, crazy. Right. But this not no A. Can't yeah. be no A season. That's fair. That is fair. Mm -hmm.